Hi, this is Greg, and today we're going to talk about using a chain cleaner like the Park CM5 to clean your chain. Before we do that, be sure and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Bicycle chains have more moving parts than any other component on the bike. Chains on modern bikes are a high-tech marvel of engineering. They've been made thinner so derailleur geared bikes can, can accommodate more gears on the rear cluster. In spite of being thinner, they've maintained their strength. Chains are the most abused part on a bicycle. Unlike tires, which will stop your ride immediately when they go flat, you, you can ride with a dirty chain for many miles. You won't be riding very efficiently, but you'll still be moving. Riding with a dirty, gunky, rusty chain will decrease pedaling efficiency and cause excessive drivetrain wear. Dirt and gunk buildup will shorten the life of the chain, chain wheel, and rear cogs quickly, especially on a multi-speed bike with derailleurs. When these parts wear, the bike chain may slip or skip gears, or it may fall off when you shift. These parts can be expensive to replace, and keeping them cleaned and lubricated will greatly extend their life. Wet weather riding is especially damaging to bicycle chains. The grid on the roads is splashed up onto the chain and accumulates. In addition, the chain will rust from constant exposure to moisture. You need to keep your chain clean, and thankfully that job is much easier than it used to be. I made a video a while back about uh, cleaning the chain using a brush and soaking it in Simple Green, um, but this method with with the chain cleaner is much easier and quite a bit faster. The nice thing about using a chain cleaner is you don't have to remove the chain from the bicycle. The brushes clean the chain fast and all the grit and grime accumulates in the reservoir of the cleaner. So there's a lot less mess for you to clean up afterwards. Okay, I like to use a 50-50 mix of simple green and water. That seems to work quite well for chains. And I've already filled it. So we just put the chain in here like this. Put the cover on. Snap it shut. You can also buy, uh, I think Park makes a uh, cleaner to go with these too. Some of them are fairly inexpensive. Okay, and then you just pedal the bike backwards. Now you got it. Anyway, you run it through several times, several revolutions. Okay, now we just uh, remove the top. And for a little cold, I'm doing this outside and it is cold. And I don't know if you can tell in there. I don't know if you can tell, but um, there, there is some grime in the bottom of that. Then you take a rag and do the same thing. Oops. You just put the bike backwards. Dry the chain off as much as you can. And that looks pretty good. After that, you just uh, oil the chain like you normally would, and that's all there is to it. Oh, there's one more thing. Um, if you're gonna, you, you can use this uh, chain cleaner on a bike that has coaster brakes, but you you have to have, support the rear wheel up off the ground so that you can pedal the bike forward instead of backwards. But they can be used that way. You'll find links to the products mentioned in this video in the description below. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.